question is, are the Ravens getting their money's worth on Lamar Jackson? No. The answer is no. The no. The answer is no. And here's the reason why. Coach, I'm going to remind you of this. Five years, $260 million. $135 million fully guaranteed. Um, overall guarantees escalating to about $185 million. They're three and two. I know I saw Nelson Aguilar drop passes. We ain't surprised by that. We've seen them do it in the past. That's true. His they career. dropped the touchdown pass. Okay, we're not too surprised by that. We respect them both. We know they could play, but damn it, they ain't the first time they drop passes, okay? Lamar Jackson, two fourth quarter turnovers yesterday, now has an NFL worst 11 turnovers in a fourth quarter or overtime of one score games since 2021. That is inexcusable. That is inexcusable. We got to look at it from that perspective. We also got to look at the fact that he leads all NFL players with seven fumbles. We know what Lamar can do. I understand they're dropping his passes. I understand they should have easily won this game. Two touchdown passes, that's 14 points right there. Right. Dropped in the hands of Aguilar and Bateman. I get it. I understand it. Eight drops overall. I got it. That's atrocious. We get it, okay? Yep. But it starts with him. And even though you got those drops, at the end of the day, damn, if you don't turn the ball over, you win anyway. And this right. man has been turning the ball over, and that is not what they're paying him to do. We got to look at Lamar Jackson and say, yo, that ain't good enough. So, ladies and gentlemen, man, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Reggie. So, as you guys just heard, man, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp as well, he was agreeing with him. Earlier this season, they thought that Lamar Jackson was not living up to his contract. Now... Lamar Jackson is set to take on Patrick Mahomes, as you guys can see on the screen, next weekend in the AFC Championship game. And Shannon Sharp actually was on his show, Nightcap, and fans were actually starting to call him out in the comments section for not keeping the same energy when it came to Lamar Jackson. Two more wins, and you know what? The guy that oh, he was supposed to be a wide receiver Oh, he's a running back. Oh, he's a running throw. back, yeah. Yeah. Two more wins. Mm -hmm. He a made man. Super Bowl champ. He a made man. Ocho, he a made Super man. Super Bowl champ. Hey. The, the, the same one that was available for teams, you mm -hmm. know, in the offseason, everybody said, no, we good. We don't yep. want him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Even, even listen, I, I know I played for the Bengals, but even I understand how special he is. Yes. I understand how, how dynamic he is. How, if he was to come to your team, how much he can change that offensive uh, offensive franchise around a different in, different type of individual cam newton was special michael vick was special but lamar jackson during his time right now is different he's okay. different think about it, Ocho. all the teams all the teams that gonna go into the draft right and look for a quarterback mm -hmm. and you could have had a guy that's 26 years old yeah with an mvp that's won the division that's mm -hmm. taken a team to the playoffs several times, and you could shut your it. bitch ass up in your but, quarterback, and you would have had to worry about your quarterback. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting to hear what you just said earlier about the thirty-two actually sticking together. Yeah, you know, and rather now, obviously all thirty-two. Ocho, now all thirty-two didn't need a quarterback, but there were ten okay, or yeah, fifteen yeah, that, that we that's did. True. Yeah. Now, I, if you I, got I, Patrick I, Mahomes, you got Josh Allen, Josh you got Allen, Joe Burrow, Burrow, or Herbert, or something like that. You, right, right, but right, Atlanta right, right, damn right, sure right. needed a quarterback. Yeah, I New think they probably uh, they they probably believed in what they had. Right, just want to see it one more year. I, <laughs> I know it. I know what you mean. Hell no, man, it must be out of their mind. Well, you see, guess what? Now you got to go. Now you got to look. Give me Lamar Jackson. At least mm -hmm. I know what I'm gonna get. Lamar is a proven commodity. You don't oh, know yeah. what the hell you're going to get with these guys that you draft out of, out of college. Jackson. Well, hell, yeah. Lamar Jackson has already been in the NFL. Hell, he's already won an MVP. So yeah. what the hell you – well, I don't know what Lamar going to do. You do know what he's going to do. He already done it. But you know what I love about him? He's like, I'm not Tom Brady. I'm not Peyton Manning. A yeah. lot of times we get guys that have legs, and they mm -hmm. all of a sudden forget that they got legs. And right, it says, right. well, I want to be this because I don't get the credit that the other guys – damn that credit. <laughs> a win and see won't they yeah. give you credit oh yeah at the end of the day that's what it comes down to so many times you get caught up in Peyton Manning is Peyton Manning I guarantee you if Peyton says hell I wish I could run like Lamar Jackson Tom <laughs> Brady says I wish I could run like Lamar Jackson right 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 but they had to use what they had in order to get the mm -hmm. uh, the most out of their God-given ability Right. Lamar Jackson, God bless Lamar Jackson with a set of wheels that he didn't give a whole lot of people in the NFL, mm -hmm. period, regardless of position. 
Right. And he gave them the ability to throw the football. You guys just heard what Shannon Sharp was saying about Lamar Jackson. People were exposing Shannon Sharp for not keeping the same energy when it came to Lamar Jackson. So somebody said, Shannon, you said that he wasn't worth the contract. You also clowned him for not having an agent when you were with Fox and Lamar still managed to get a deal without an agent. This whole season, you were extra critical of Lamar compared to his peers. Somebody else says Shannon also said he'll take Jalen over Lamar, keep that same energy. And then look, at the bottom of the screen, we got Bimmer Driver, he said, Lamar, last year they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. Jamal says, I'm sorry, but until I hear an apology from Shannon, all the praise he gives just seems like a backhanded compliment. Somebody else said, Unk was very critical of Lamar before the season started, and now he's acting like that never happened. Yes, opinions can change, but at least acknowledge that you were wrong. So, ladies and gentlemen, man, this is going to be a very, very interesting game this weekend when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. But when it comes to Lamar Jackson and his peers, right, we see clearly that these guys are not fair. Now, when it comes to the criticism that Lamar Jackson has received throughout his career, has some of it been warranted? Absolutely. But has some of it been a little bit over the top, especially compared to his contemporaries i think you have to say so and shannon sharp man listen um he's getting exposed for it man he's getting called out he's getting blasted and it's funny enough right because i actually heard shannon sharp address it and he basically didn't want to concede that he was wrong about lamar jackson his narcissism was on full display on one of those episodes on nightcap you know, and that's the reality with a lot of these, you know, talking heads in the media, man. They never want to admit that they're wrong from Stephen A. Smith to Shannon Sharp. These guys, listen, they, they can't be wrong. They're always right, even when they're wrong. So I'm glad that people in the comments section are calling him out for his nonsense. But like I said, man, I got to be real with you guys. Patrick Mahomes is coming to town. You guys can see the graphics on the screen, man. And I don't know if Lamar Jackson is going to win this game. Now, I'm hoping that he does because Patrick Mahomes already has two Super Bowls. I would not mind Lamar Jackson getting one. But it's going to be a tough challenge to knock off Patrick Mahomes. But I think they can finally do it this year. But yeah, man, we'll see what happens this weekend. But y'all let me know what you guys thought about this topic in the comments down below. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. This was another installment of the locker room. Peace. I said fuck school, cool kids wasn't cool to me. They never really liked me. Being hated isn't new to me, but uh I get it cause when you win and they isn't jealousy has no ending. So pray the Lord, forgive them every day. I gotta thank them for the blessings. Rumors about my life, will I ever address them? I don't know. Worry about your kicks, my nigga, and what are those? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Music nowadays, but y'all gotta be kidding me. Lyrics was whack, gave him an A for his energy. You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up. But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up. I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas. Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us. So go on and ask them who the greatest is. And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills. It's real.
sacrificed a lot. 